a report that says President Trump directed his lawyer to lie to Congress. We detail the legal implications. Floor, and we're going to begin here tonight with the fallout from an explosive report about the president and the investigation swirling around him. An article in BuzzFeed. Oops, just a few hours after the evening news ran with this. CBS was the worst, by the way. ABC didn't bite. Um, Robert Mueller's office had to issue this uh, statement saying this is all bogus. These BuzzFeed reporters, they can't even agree whether they saw the documents. The story today is a significant black eye for the media outlets all over the country. People were frothing at the mouth. There were calls for impeachment comments. But it was too late. All of the propagandists from CNN to CBS had said, impeachment! <laughs> just, just a huge black eye. And it's so fitting, too, because Bud, BuzzFeed is the same fake propaganda outlet that started the entire Mueller investigation by leaking a bogus Russian steel dossier. <laughs> so CBS saw this report from discredited BuzzFeed, they knew that BuzzFeed had no sources. They were, quote, anonymous sources, so they were just some deep state anti-Trumper. And CBS ran with it anyway. That's not stupidity. That's intentional propaganda on the part of CBS. It says the president ordered ex-lawyer Michael Cohen to perjure himself before Congress. House Democrats are involving a new investigation. The president and his advisors responded, saying Cohen, who was sentenced to three years in prison, in part for lying to Congress, is lying again. Here's Paul Rick. So, Lord, the so-called BuzzFeed bombshell seems to be coming apart. Now, remember where we started. Late Thursday night, there's this big, the latest quote-unquote bombshell. So many bombshells, I can't even track. Hey, a, a week ago, it was the New York Times saying that the FBI had this big investigation to see whether the President of the United States was a Russian special agent. That story's kind of gone away. That was only a week on. ago, folks. Yeah, Thursday yeah. night, BuzzFeed comes out with this massive story suggesting that the President of the United States instructed his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, to lie to Congress. The breaking news this morning is that the special counsel, Robert Mueller, has made a rare public statement through his spokesman mm -hmm. saying it's not true. This is Peter Carr, his spokesman, saying mm -hmm. BuzzFeed's description of specific statements to the special counsel's office and characterization of documents and testimony obtained by this office regarding Michael Cohen's congressional testimony are not accurate. It's the most damaging legal allegation against the president to date. BuzzFeed News reports that President Trump directed his former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, to lie to Congress. Mr. Trump has previously denied ordering Cohen to commit wrongdoing. At issue, a real estate deal to build a Trump Tower in Moscow that Michael Cohen was negotiating during the 2016 campaign. The deal never went through, and Cohen told Congress talks ended in January 2016, shortly before the Iowa caucuses. He has since admitted that was a lie, and the negotiations continued until mid-2016. In November, he pleaded guilty to lying to Congress. According to BuzzFeed, special counsel Robert Mueller has evidence it was President Trump who told Cohen to lie about the timeline. The article cites two unnamed federal law enforcement officials involved in the investigation, say there are company emails, text messages, and a cache of other documents that show Mr. Trump's involvement. Last year, the FBI raided Cohen's home and office, removing reams of evidence. In a statement, the president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, said of the BuzzFeed article, if you believe Cohen, I can get you a great deal on the Brooklyn Bridge. And the president tweeted, Cohen is lying to reduce his jail time. CBS News legal analyst, Ricky Kleeman. If the special prosecutor really has evidence, in addition to Michael Cohen, that shows that the president told Michael Cohen to lie to Congress, President Trump is in some serious jeopardy. You may not be able to indict a president, say some legal scholars, but it certainly means that this is exactly the type of crime that would go forward toward an impeachment proceeding. I do. At his confirmation hearing this week, Senators questioned Attorney General nominee William Barr about whether asking a witness to lie would be considered obstruction of justice. You also said that a president or any person convincing a witness to change testimony would be obstruction. Is that right? Yes. Paula, well, if, if this report was true, what would then come next for the Attorney General and Congress? Well, Jeff, if this report is true, the special counsel... What about
eventually pass this evidence off to the Attorney General. We expect William Barr will be confirmed for that post, so ultimately it would be up to him whether or not to pass any evidence of criminal wrongdoing on the part of the President off to Congress for possible impeachment proceedings. All right, Paula, bring it to the White House. Paula, thank you very much.